Hawks get the victory tonight in the Sin City as your starting goalie, number 29, the Flower, Mark Andre Fleury has himself a big game in a big moment in his former home stadium in Vegas. Yes, Marc-Andre Fleury tonight played outstanding for your Chicago Blackhawks and gets the Hawks a victory. Winning this game 2-1 two to one over the Vegas Golden Knights. In the first period today, as I, if you were at the live stream today, I want to say thank you. And as you can tell by how I was watching this game, that first period was not a good one by the Hawks. It was bad performance by the Hawks. Flurry stood on his head and kept the Hawks in it and managed to only hold Vegas to one goal. That's it. He played outstanding. He was on his head tonight and gets the Hawks the 2-1 victory. The Hawks had goals from depth players today, which is good to see. They're only, they gave Ben Hutton the first start of the night. You've got to be kidding me. It should have been the flower, right? It should have been the flower. Come on. So Hawks at the faceoff percentage in the first period, they were garbage at it. It was at 1.61% to 30 uh 8% roughly, where the Hawks managed to even up the score a little bit at the faceoff percentage. Hawks ended up with a 48% at the dot, where Vegas with a 52. So that's a little bit better. Uh, Hawks, in my opinion, do have a better center court until later this season when uh, Vegas probably picks gets uh, Jack Geichel on their roster, but the Hawks managed to stay out of the box, which after how bad they've been in the box, that's good. The Hawks have been flat out horrendous on the PK lately, and they went 0 for 0 by not having to let power, a power play for the Vegas Golden Knights. Hawks did have a power play, couldn't get anything going, went 0 for 1. So, no, not, not really high penalized game. This was a good performance by Smart playing hockey. Hits 35 to 17 in favor for your Chicago Blackhawks. Block shots 24 to 15 in favor for your Chicago Blackhawks. Good to see there. Um, shots on net per period. 5-9 in favor for the Vegas Golden Knights in the first period. 11-12 in favor for the Golden Knights in the second. 5-10 in favor for the Golden Knights in the third. Total shots on net, 21-31 in favor for the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas outplayed the Hawks offensively tonight. Granted, the Hawks offense isn't the greatest in the league, but... They outplayed the Hawks offensively, and the Hawks managed to hold Vegas to one goal. Mark Andre Fleury made some huge saves when it he was called for. He was great in net tonight for your Chicago Blackhawks. He was awesome. We love the flower in Chicago. It's awesome. He is a hawk. And when he had a performance like this, a game that meant so much to him, at the beginning of the game, right before puck drop, Vegas did a welcome home to Vegas ceremony video for Flurry, which is a good tribute video. You could tell Flower was very emotional. He had some tears running down his eyes. You could see it through his mask, even though his mask was on. You could tell Flower was very emotional for this game. He knew how much this game meant for him. He wanted, the Hawks knew how much this game meant for him. They wanted to get him the win, and they did. So, 
Let's get to the goals of the game, shall we? In the first period, as I mentioned, Vegas came out steaming. They were playing strong hockey, outplaying the Hawks, out shooting the Hawks. At one point, it was 5-1 to one with, like, and shots on net in the first like three minutes of play and Vegas gets the f goal, first goal of the night and it came five minutes and 17 seconds in the first period Ben Hutton scores the his first of the season assisted by Nolan Patrick off a of face-off this goal really you can't fault anyone on you can fault the center meant for the Hawks because the Hawks Lost the face off. It went right into Ben Hutton, and Hutton shot it right on net past Flurry. Nothing Flurry could have done there. It was a quick setup and go sh goal, basically. So Ben Hutton gets the Golden Knights on the board in the first period. The Hawks started getting a little bit antsy later in the first period, where they were moving the puck well, getting some opportunities off on former Blackhawk Robin Leonard. Leonard made some good saves and the Golden Knights go into the second period with a one goal lead. So we go to the second period where the Hawks actually come out playing their best hockey of the, of the game. Flat out, it was their best hockey. Hawks were coming out steaming, playing good hockey. And at 4 minutes and 38 seconds in the second period, number 16, Jujar Kara gets his third of the season and gets the Hawks on the board, tying the game up 1-1. One one, and this was assisted by Ryan Carpenter. Carpenter, the former Vegas Golden Knight, Gets the puck, feeds it up to Jujar, Kara, Kara on a two on one break, and Kara just snapshots it right onto the low blocker side of Winner, and it bounces up top shelf. Hawks have tied this game by Jujar Kara, which that goal must have felt really good for him after the concussion he suffered back in December and he has played some good hockey since coming back from it but that goal must have felt really good for him he played well tonight Jujar did he gets his third of the night and the Hawks are on the board they are now having Vegas kind of pressured you could tell the Hawks are on the board they now are pressuring more because Later in the period, this happens. Taze gets a net front presence, and at 14:21 in the second period, scored by number 61, Riley Stillman, his first of this season, assisted by number 17, Dylan Strom, and number 88. Patrick Kane to give the Hawks their 2-1 lead for their 2-1 victory. This goal was really well set up. Kane gets it to Strom. Strom feeds it over to um, Stillman. Taze is up front of the net. It looked like he tipped it, but he didn't because the puck knuckled on Leonard and it goes into the net and the Hawks have the lead. Two to one. And then that's good to see. But we go to the third period. Hawks up 2 1. Vegas comes out steaming, pressuring the Hawks in their zone, outplaying the Hawks, moving the puck well. Then a little bit into the period, then the Hawks started saying, okay, we need to shut this Vegas team down, right? Let's do it. They were pressuring and getting some chances off. But Vegas pulls Leonard with about two minutes remaining in regulation time. Expected to see that. And Mark Stone gets the puck. Feeds it across the crease to Evgeny Donatov. And 
Mark andre Fleury has to make a huge cross-crease sliding save for the Hawks to save their 2-1 vic- lead. That's good to see. Hawks get it down the ice and get it on net uh, where the Haw- Leonard and the Golden Knights have to clear. And it goes in for an icing. Hawks are in the offensive zone for a final 20 seconds. They kill the clock in the offensive zone with Leonard back in the net. And the Hawks get the big 2-1 victory for the flower Mark andre Fleury in his old barn of Vegas. This game honestly had to have meant so much for Flower and the team. This could be that game. Maybe we see the Hawks gel and get things back and going. Playing good hockey after a strong performance against a very good cup contending team in Vegas. So let's hope we see that come true. Because seeing the Hawks beat Vegas with Marc-Andre Fleury return to Vegas, I think this game meant so much for the team, knowing what this game meant for the Flower, and they had to get this victory. They had to. There was nothing about it. No butts win or where. They had to get this win in Vegas for Flower. That's what happened. Flower gets the victory. He gets the Hawks Another win on this season. It's their 12th, but it's still a win. It's awesome to see. It's a great win for the Hawks. It was a great performance by Mark andre Fleury in the defense of the Blackhawks. Not playing stupid and getting penalized. They played smart. They played a good structured hockey game today. Not the greatest in the first period and third period, but they played strong defensively to get this victory so down in the comments down below i want to hear what your guys' thoughts were on tonight's action and i want to say again thank you to those of you who did join the live stream tonight it was a lot of fun and thank you for watching the broadcast please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and most of all let's go hawks and flower Flower, flower.